Hey guys, welcome back to another Maguire video. Um, today, so, I saw a comment today on my Discord about doing my fingerboard collection by Mr. Uh, Shadow Dragon. And yeah, shout out to him for that. Um, but yeah, I'm about to just show you guys my fingerboard tour. Okay. So first, we're just gonna start off over here. Over here, I have my nuts, my bolts, my wheels, my trucks, and then my tools and stands. Uh, it's just all my stuff to be able to put together my fingerboards. It's mostly just tech deck stuff over there like the trucks It's all it's basically all tech deck stuff, but Yeah, I got I, that's that I made that back when I was just starting to fingerboard and I don't know, I just kind of left it like that Um, okay next I've got some finger some tech deck not fingerboard, tech deck uh, bikes this one uh, this one is broken because the screw fell out, so then I bought another one, and this one works now. But yeah, they're kind of fun. They're pretty cool. Um, so I guess on the note of Tech Dex, we have this. So this is my very first fingerboard right here. It's just a, uh, normal Matt Burger Flip Tech fingerboard, or Tech Deck. Um, my dad got it for me. And then this one right here is just like, I don't know, some super rare, ultra rare, whatever tech deck so i don't use it i just keep it on display i guess this one i got in florida one time when i was visiting and this one it's just i got it at a local store and uh it's just like the one that i took to school a lot um so then we have my tech deck collection over here this one i just took the trucks off one time and i haven't put them back on this one i've actually never used but it's all scratched up this one also never used. These are all never used, basically. And then past those, we have 29 millimeter ones all right there. And then we have more 32 millimeter ones right here. And this one I also took to school a lot. And it's like one of those ones where you put your own grip on it that comes with the tech deck. Okay, it just fell. But more tech deck stuff. This one. These two came with like a couple of fingerboards that I got. Um, and yeah, I put stickers on this one. I uh, just covered it in stickers that I had from Deck Deck. So that was back before I even used wood fingerboards. This came with, I think, the pink um, Tech Deck uh, bike. This one I think came with the blue one. And this one also came with a fingerboard. Uh, so right here, I just have this tool. So one time I changed out the Joy-Cons on my Nintendo Switch, I got changed out to Shell, and it just had this tool, and it works perfectly for X fingerboard uh, screws, so I just kept using it. So I have this glue fingerboard that I made at school one time, and then it was kind of a joke, so I actually set it up, which, you know, maybe someday I might take it apart, but I haven't really had, but it's got like such a bad, it's got the pop of like a wet sock and stuff, but um, yeah, it's not that good. Okay, so then we're going to start up back over here. This is the very first wooden fingerboard I made. I clamped it with Tech Dex. Um, yeah, it's, it's not bad. It's got those layers in between. And th this grip job, I felt like, was pretty good for my first ever grip job. Okay, whatever. But yeah, that's my first ever wooden fingerboard right there. And then my second one, I tried to copy um, the Griptions fingerboard. And... It came out like this with all the gaps in between, and I didn't think it, I mean, it was, I used it for probably about a month. It was like my main, I guess you would call it, and it's got a pretty good grip job too, but this time I put holes in it. Then the next one, this is my second try at the Gription, um, fingerboard, came out much better. But still, I, d I didn't know that you could use tape at this time, so I still had gaps in it, and all that stuff but then we come over to when i mean obviously guys i had made fingerboards in between these because i sell fingerboards these are just the ones that i still have but i have made like you know five in between each one of these boards but like yeah so then you know you can clearly see i was starting to get better and i really like this wood this wood looks this darker wood but yeah then i then i made this and i call it a slash and then that was my first ever time trying to do a grip job or a grip gap and it was not bad then you know made a couple boards in between that one and now i'm on to this one which is now my main fingerboard um i got a grip job and it's starting to come off because i use it so much but 
Yeah, just most all these are so far tech deck trucks, but these are just teak tuning, you know, like the very China trucks and the lock the they, the lock nuts. They they don't even lock nuts and yeah, but they got bearing wheels and then they they start to like kind of rust up, but you just spray some WD-40 and they roll fine. But then on to kind of my some of my experimental boards, which are kind of fun. I have this long board. And I, I don't know, I was just bored one day and I made a long board. And I, I think it was a pretty cool grip job. I was trying to ex do a big grip job to make the board longer, but you can still see there's a little gap right there because of the, because uh, the grip wasn't long enough. Then I have this other long board, which, I don't know, it fell apart someday, so so uh, it's missing the hanger, but... Yeah, this is this is the, the I did these both in this like the same day almost. But yeah, this one came out pretty cool looking. I kind of messed up the drill holes. You can see where there's like a uh, it's not straight. And it, I, I thought it kind of looked almost like a popsicle stick in the middle, but it's not. Yeah, and then you can see where the grip didn't make it and stuff like that. But yeah, so those are all my wooden fingerboards, tech decks, and all the tech deck stuff. So yeah, so I'm gonna move this stuff out of the way. And we can get onto my concrete obstacles. So my first ever concrete obstacle that I made was right here. It's a uh, it's a Jersey barrier. Um, I thought it, it's actually pretty clean. It's like it, it's cleaner than David Jones, and I, I was really happy with it. I tapped it a bunch, and yeah. So there's that. It's kind of cracked at the bottom, but yeah. And the next one, next obstacle we have is uh, a just a parking curb. This was also my first parking curb. And uh, it didn't come out great because I don't. I think there was air bubbles in between it. You can kind of see all the cracks and stuff. Yeah, but I just, it was. It's still kind of fun. It looks kind of realistic. But yeah. Okay, so then my last concrete obstacle I have is here. I made this the other day. It's just a big concrete pad, and uh, and I put a little parking curb in there so you can like kind of like all the arm kick flip or something. I don't know. You can, you can, it adds more, uh, diversity the tricks you can do on it. Yeah, it's just, it's like solid concrete. It's pretty heavy. Kind of a couple cracks, but I filled it in with, uh, because there was a bunch of cracks here pulling it off. So I had to fill it in with concrete. This side didn't turn out as good. There's a big thing right there. I actually haven't really looked at it that much before, but this side turned out pretty good. It's nice. It's kind of smooth up up against it and stuff. But yeah, so that's my uh, that's my last concrete object. But yeah, these are these are all pretty fun, and I I've sold a couple of them before because I'm I make and sell them too. But yeah, all right. And then my last thing in my collection is this, but it's just a uh, it's just a box. Um. Yeah, I just put the metal coping on the side, and I painted it, because it was kind of, the wood was kind of ugly, so I painted it, and yeah, this thing's pretty fun. I've uploaded, like, a little short with it before, and, like, I don't know, the board floated or something, but yeah, it's pretty cool. I just followed, like, David Jones' tutorial. That's kind of what I did for some obstacles, but yeah, so that's basically my collection. That's basically everything. Um, and then I've got some dynamics down there, and I'm waiting on my oil pills, which I'm pretty excited for, but yeah, I'll make a video about that, make a video about setting it all up, but yeah, there's my collection, thank you guys for watching, comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video, bye.